One Metro family is fighting for answers as their daughters deal with long haul COVID-19. News 9's Ashley Holden spoke with the family about their search for help. The two girls, Emerson and Adley, are just four and eight. Their parents tell me all their issues started about a month after they were diagnosed with COVID. Now they're having to go out of state to find help. We've got to fight for them. We've got to fight for answers. Susan Barnes and her husband, Chris, have been trying for months to help their two daughters. Their kids tested positive for COVID back in August. Then about a month, Adley, our eight-year-old, had started experiencing blurred vision and kind of muscle spasms, back pain. Emerson had really started complaining of a lot of leg pain and her back hurts. And for a four year old, that's not normal. Susan says her youngest was waking up in the middle of the night, crying in pain. Then Adley developed severe stomach pains. Told Chris, I said, I'm calling the doctor and we're going in and I'm not leaving until we get some answers. After constant doctor's appointments and blood work, they narrowed the girl's issues down to long haul COVID. We really found out there's not a lot of help for kids. The closest pediatric post COVID program to Oklahoma is actually in Houston, Texas. So that's where we're going to be headed soon. You give them like a plan of action. Yes, yes. I was able to talk with a nurse practitioner with UT Physicians COVID Center of Excellence, where the Barnes family will be going. Because we've seen, you know, we have some patients who aren't from this area in, in Houston, and we'll have them go back to their PCP and the specialists where they live with that plan. Back here in Oklahoma, OU's chief COVID officer, Dr. Dale Bratzler, says the good news is most patients do improve over time, even if it takes months or even a year. Sometimes it's just getting past the acute phase uh, and getting past this initial chronic phase of the illness. In Oklahoma City, Ashley Holden, Oklahoma's own News 9.